Are hammer machines made in China or Austria? The question was posed to me in a comment on the video I released about owning this machine for three months. I'll put a link to that video up above and down below. I didn't know the answer to that question, but I told the gentleman that posed the question that I would ask Felder, the maker of the hammer range, and see what they said. They came back with, they make three ranges, the hammer, the Felder, and the Format 4, the hammer being the least expensive and the Format 4 being the most expensive. And they're aimed at different marketplaces. The hammer, the topic of this conversation and video, is aimed at the hobbyist, the home workshop, or the small professional outlet. The Felder and the Format 4 are aimed at bigger operations respectively. And they've also stated that the hammer range is made to a price point so that they can attract people within that marketplace. We've got to expect and accept, I think, in this day and age, that most products that we look at are made to a price point so that they are can, can be considered to be appropriate for the customer type that that company's aiming at. Anyway, the official response from Felder is, many other suppliers of woodworking machinery will have decided to move the production of their machinery to the Far East. This will save money on production costs. Consequently, many people will say or believe that the hammer range is made in China. This is simply not true. Triple exclamation mark. The Felder Group decided that with the hammer range, it is important to be able to offer a range of high quality machines using the most up to date manufacturing technology and adhering to strict production standards. The hammer machines are built to a price. However, they are built in Austria. And they go on to say this puts hammer machines in a class of their own for the discerning woodworker offering them stability functionality and durability and that's the end of the official statement so they are without a shadow of a, a shadow of a doubt refuting the claim in its entirety that their machines are made in china and they're clearly stating that their machines are made in austria now i'm sure we've all become aware of um, and to some extent fallen foul of marketing's new age ability to redefine the definition of a word based on the context that it's presented in. So are we talking about minute differences between the words built, made, assembled, constructed? Or should we just take that statement on face value that the machines are built in Austria and they use the word built. So this next bit is an assumption or an opinion of mine that I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. In fact, I'd go as far as to say I would expect them to source component parts from other manufacturers. I don't think it's fair to expect any manufacturer to make every component that's used in a product that they build or assemble themselves and put for sale under their own brand name. I'm fairly certain that the makers of microwaves aren't responsible for uh, building, creating every component part within. What I think is vitally important is that the company is honest, uh, truthful and transparent with the claims that they make. I believe that if the statement is hammer machines are built in Austria, then the major part of the machine, the majority of the machine must be built in Austria in order for that claim to be true. But that's my opinion. But I don't think that's the only thing that's important. I think as a customer or a consumer, whichever term you prefer, we must feel that we've been dealt with in an honest fashion. We must feel that we've paid a reasonable price, an appropriate price, price for the product that we've purchased. 
And most importantly, we must feel that we've got a point of contact and the ability to go back to the, to the manufacturer after we've parted with our money. And I'm talking about customer service. In fact, I think to some extent in this day and age, we actually buy customer service and that the product is something that customer service is wrapped around and supportive of. I bought all of my machinery myself, all of my equipment I've purchased myself. None of it has been given to me. And I've decided to make this video. This is not in conjunction with Hammer in any way, shape or form. I am just a customer of theirs or a consumer of their products. But the one thing that I, one point that I do want to make here is that their after sales customer service was superb. I had an issue with this machine. I had an issue with the saw. After a number of phone calls, they sent a chap down from Milton Keynes to the ass end of Cornwall. And I live 30 miles from Land's End, right down the bottom. And they sent a chap down totally at their own expense. I didn't pay a penny for this visit. He spent the best part of a day going through the machines, making sure they were exactly as I wanted them to be. And by the time he left, everything was perfect. That says a hell of a lot about that company, as far as I'm concerned. So to summarize, Felder themselves have stated these machines are not built in China. Everything else about the company that I've experienced would lead me to believe their statement. Not that I wish to cast aspersions on the comment that was made in the video. I would buy the products. I would buy products from that company again because I believe they, them to be honest and truthful and prepared to go as far as they need to within the realms of reasonability to make sure the customer is happy with their purchase. So from that perspective, it's a thumbs up from me for Felder UK and for the Hammer range of products. I hope this video has been of help to you and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Ta-ra!